Thank you very much for your presence. I'm very grateful and ESF is very grateful to see such a large crowd for this event, which is uh, marking basically the final stage of the uh, European Commission funded Merrill 2 program and hopefully an event that can also help us uh, lay down the grounds for uh, further, let's say, implication of the project and use of its data on the European landscape. Welcome you again, everybody, to, to Lisbon and uh, have a great uh, discussion these uh, this next two days. My name is Vasilis Bonis. I've been working with this project since day minus one, let's say. So thank you, Mary, for giving me this opportunity. I have to admit I was not involved in Merrill until two years ago, I would say, and, but I have been hearing about Merrill, about the people who used to update the data sheet in my facility. There are information there that uh, are of interest, not for uh, only researchers, at least from my, uh, from my understanding, but also for everyone that is interested of where the European fundings are spent for science, which in the end of the day should be everyone, I think. If Merrill was working in Europe, we were working on international level and of course that, that creates some changes on how you approach these things. When you make a map, you have to make choices and what do you present and what you don't present. They never will present the reality perfectly. I think this has already came quite nicely with the discussion today about Merrill as well. So this one will be about Catris, the new project. I would start with uh, some quotes from the uh, report from the OECD. Opening up access to infrastructure can make significant contribution to open science. In a sense, you could visualize, you could conceptualize <laughs> Catris as, as an evolution of, of the Merrill concept. And, and to be fair to the two projects, they are, although there are a lot of similarities, they're also sufficiently different. And the most common question I get, Really, this European Science Cloud, what is it? Where is it? <laughs> Just a few words about the Global Science Forum, uh, maybe for the few of you who don't know what, what it is. It's a structure of the OECD. It's a working party of the Committee for Science and Technology Policy, and it's dedicated to science policy, mostly international science policy. One of the challenges is what Merrill and many landscaping exercises are for, which is basically to provide to the potential users information on what is actually there, what is available, right? What are the services which can be offered? So I'm going to talk about uh, briefly today the need for facility identifiers. Um, ORCA's been doing quite a lot of work with research infrastructures. Uh, uh, we've got a working group mainly of American infrastructures, uh, government funded ones. And the kind of work we're doing with them to help improve the way they can track uh, impact of their facilities. So this is the kind of little picture we show to try and sh demonstrate what it is we do and how our community work together. So connecting these PIDs together is what lets us do powerful things and they're made generally during regular workflows. When you appear in a Merrill data database you are proud because uh, your infrastructure is considered as uh, someone that has some value. So, um, Merrill is coming to a close and the main questions that I've heard so far um, are who will use the outputs and how, who will maintain the data and how, including who will pay for it, and uh, will newer projects like Catris, AI Paths and other contribute by some data or recommendation data model, anything to um, the main database doesn't have to be called Merrill, but it has to live. I would like to give you some context on the commission thinking behind Merrill uh, when it first started, uh, which is uh, almost a decade ago, and the evolution that we have gone through in generally in RI policy and uh, the landscape of the, of the RIs in Europe and what we know about the RIs, and give you some in input or share some thoughts on how I could see the future uh, of Merrill. When the ESF sent me the invitation and I saw final conference, I thought, oh my God, it's going to be like a funeral or something. And I really believe that uh, it may be the final conference of this stage of whatever we call it. I don't believe in Merrill 3, not in the sense that uh, uh, we've known Merrill so far, but this does not mean closing the door. What are the factors in building a, a successful mapping process? What are the factors in building a successful database, one that is valuable to as many stakeholders as possible? 
what kind of database does the community want today? What kind of, com of database will the community need tomorrow? And as Meryl ends, I think that's a question that needs to be turned over back to all of you. And I hope that Meryl can provide a useful model for thinking about all those questions. Mm -hmm.